Hey guys, pharmacist Curtis Alexander. In this video, I will try to answer the question, can supplementing with acetyl L-carnitine, can it help diabetic neuropathy? So let's look at the evidence. We know from studies that giving two to three grams per day of ALC or acetyl L-carnitine showed that pain scores could be decreased by 15 points. What that means is they gave them a scale from one to 100 where they started, if they're, they were higher on that scale, they had worse pain over those 12 months on average at that dose decreased 15 points. So fairly significant. What they found next was pretty interesting too. They dropped the dose down to one and a half grams or 1500 milligrams a day. And they found that that was basically equivalent to the placebo. So they lost some of the effectiveness. Um, another study gave one gram two to three times a day. So we're still in that general dosing regimen from the previous study. They did show also a decrease in pain. They did have to give it for six months. And yet another study, we've got 500 milligrams three times a day for 24 weeks. And in this one, they were comparing it to methylcobalamin, which is another uh, medication treatment that they can give people for diabetic neuropathy. And they found that it was equivalent to doing methylcobalamin one half milligram three times a day. Um, and they also found as far as the neuropathy disability score, that it, it scored pretty much equivalent to the methylcobalamin. So these three studies uh, were very promising as far as the ALC goes. Now, a good question comes about what is it actually doing in your body? We have theories, we don't know for sure, but we believe it's slowing nerve degeneration and it's helping repair some of those nerves that you're having problems with if you have the neuropathy. Um, we also think that it's improving energy production in cells via fatty acids. A lot of people don't realize we want more energy production in the body, not just for nerve fibers, but for all sorts of disease states. We're finding more and more of these disease states are related to our energy production and hence our metabolism. So now, if you were thinking about ALC, I think it would be ideal for a couple of groups of people, okay? One of which is if you've had a shorter duration of diabetes, if you've had diabetes for a long time, not saying you couldn't use it or you couldn't experience benefit, but based off the studies we have, uh, the shorter duration of diabetes would be ideal. Also, uh, people that had poorly controlled diabetes actually did well with ALC. So those are kind of the two groups of people, shorter duration of diabetes and also poor control. So that's what we found. Um, the bottom line takeaway for me is, can ALC help diabetic neuropathy pain? I believe it can. I would stay in that two to three grams per day range. Uh, we, what we don't know as far as the nerve conduction improvement, we think it can help, but that's, that's yet to be proven, but definitely the pain does seem to be helped. Again, two to three grams a day appears to be kind of that sweet spot. I will include a link in the description to the ALC product I would recommend. Also a link in the description to other natural therapies that I personally use and recommend that may help with something like diabetic neuropathy. So let me know in the comments uh, if you've used this before, did you experience benefit? Your feedback is appreciated, uh, not just for me, but for other people that watch the video, it's helpful, okay? Uh, speaking of helpful, I hope the video was, you guys. I will see you in the next one. Thank you.